welcome back. As promised, although a little bit late, I do admit, I will tell you about reflexive conditioned motivating operations. Um, it's really not that hard. I think this is the easiest one out of all the CMOs. So um, a reflexive conditioned motivating operation is any stimulus uh, that when it is presented, the reinforcement would be its own removal, which is why it's called reflexive. Um, most behavior analytic naming conventions are uh, mathematical in origin. So the same as a reflexive relation and stimulus equivalence where X equals X or A equals A, um, the stimulus and the reinforcement are the same thing. So it's referring to itself or grammatically also uh, would be reflexive. So the way to remember this that's easy is if a spider descends on you from the ceiling and lands on your shirt, your reflex and you're like, ah, get off of me. So the spider, <laughs> he is presented and uh, removing him is reinforcement. Um, so it's a conditioned motivating operation R, reflexive. It is negative reinforcement. Now, why is that a condition motivating operation instead of um, just regular operant conditioning? That is involved and theoretical, but in a very short order, uh, Jack Michael's rationale was, because of learning history and all that jazz, um, you engage in a behavior because it has been reinforced in the past, so you're doing it again. Just because you want something gone or you don't like it and it's unpleasant or aversive, like the Rolling Stones have said, you can't always get what you want. Um, so there's no guarantee of reinforcement or really any change in the environment. Um, so a mosquito buzzing around the room would be a CMOR. And I could engage in all kinds of behaviors that I hope we'll get rid of the mosquito, but it's it's not guaranteed. And it may or may not end up as a, a behavior that gets reinforced. And my reinforcement history is probably kind of spotty. So that is why um, there's no SD for punishment. It can only be a CMO R. So there you go. Hope that helps and I'll post more later this week or next week. I don't want to overpromise. Bye.